Happy New Year 2019. Cool start. Definitely um, wanting to talk a little bit about that. Dr. Mandolin here. And that everybody's doing these big changes and resolutions. And it's the win middle of winter. It's like, get real. Our body's not at the prime state and time for working out and more than usual. I mean, working out, yes, please do. And we're going to talk more about that here at Calypso, bringing in some more workout support for everybody. Um, cause it's huge. It's really important. Uh, us with chronic disease, we got to do a little bit, a little bit of strength, a lot for us hyper flexible people. Um, but back over to New Year's. So do little things. Now is the internal time when we're supposed to be reviewing how last year was and just taking care of ourselves in our home, in our nest, resting, um, staying warm for God's sakes and getting over all these colds, right? Going around right now. Um, so part of going with the seasons is eating and doing what nature is doing and giving us. And there's lots of roots available right now. Roots are really important for our deep foundational health. And in that, I mean, minerals. Minerals are so concentrated in the roots. This is why um, vinegar is actually better for absorbing those out if you're... Um, herbal preparation or you're cooking with food and that's why I always tell my patients add a little vinegar sip a little vinegar beforehand so your stomach acids there and up and you will absorb your minerals better big problem with what osteoporosis is later in life um, <clears throat> so nature and its other fine elements right now it's a lot of orange foods a lot of squashes and orange is high in vitamin A, retinol, really. I mean, the beta carotene is really awesome, but an antiviral, so concentrated um, and so potent that if you're really doing an ND uh, protocol, you got to make sure you're nowhere going to be pregnant at all. Um, but of course, eating all those foods will help pro protect you and help you get over these colds as well. So all the pumpkin you can get in and other of your orange favorites. I know a lot of oranges are going around my house right now as the kids are getting over colds. I've got sore throat myself. You can probably hear. Um, I like to do a lot of mushrooms to try. You might have heard of seven spectrums. Uh, Paul Stamens, I would recommend his mushrooms or I do some um, nutritional grade ones um, right out of Metagenics, Mikutaki, um, as a good foundation. But when things get a little bit more intense, definitely want to help promote the fevers that might be going along with our kids. Uh, Belladonna is my favorite favorite homeopathic to use right at the beginning of the kids going into a fever and um, and during the fever you can dose you know 30 C 200 C easily with these kids you'll just do um, more with this 30 C you can dose it every 20 minutes I find this works better than ibuprofen and Tylenol for managing a fever, keeping that fever coming on properly and promoting it. Um, another way we can do that is, of course, managing with hot and cold. Um, so hydrotherapy, we always want to start with the warmer and end with the cold. Some instances you might start with cold first. That's when we're detoxing or coming out of our saunas or something far infrared sauna I've been putting my kids in with me a lot right now love the saunas it's that fever therapy that'll work more than antibiotics do I mean there has been studies done and your fever if you can keep that going well the kid is comfortable then help mother nature do what she has given us and um, that's to kill us with heat. And then we come out of it. It's a it's a graft, actually. Ooh, can I do this? 
of when we come out of a cold, we're actually cleaner than ever before if we went through proper you know, broths and lots of ginger tea and the good fever. Um, antibiotics actually leave us in a worse place and we have to re-bring back that whole microbiome, all the good bugs in our stomach. It takes a year for me as a physician to help build that back up with patients. I mean, we got some tricks to rush it through, but it costs money and it's still going to essentially, it does take time. Um, so trying to prevent, of course, is key. So we don't have to go to those antibiotics, but I prescribe them just as much as I need to, as any primary care or naturopath might need to. Um, we're not totally against them. Uh, it just, we like to try and try and catch it if we don't have to. And that's where probiotics, vitamin D, um, vitamin C foods, a little bit more um, important for us really than taking vitamin C. A cup of blueberries, hawthorn berry for my Marfans people, but you can't do a cup. It's too intense, but you don't need to do that much. Elderberries are big um, too. I will definitely talk more about elderberries, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, done properly. Uh, so, what else do we have here? My fevers. Febriplex from Unda is another godsend. I was at a conference with my family. My firstborn was having his first fever. I ran down to the reps free tables and the Sir Royal rep gave me from Unda a Febri Plex. Now, of course, this company has been bought by Pure. No. I wish it was Pure, by Nestle, and Nestle bought Pure too, so that's, ah! so that's where I will be formulating my own few barrel plex with my homeopathics from a, making sure if I start to notice that quality go down. Um, and then our favorite is warming socks um, at my house and with my patients, um, a old school nature cure docs. This is some hydrotherapy from... German, Germany, uh, Benedictine Lust. He was in the, I, I, a long time ago. Bad history buff here. Um, but brought us the, the importance of this way to stimulate the body's immune system purely with hot and cold alterations. So the warming socks, you get a pair of cotton, and you have to already have ready for little kids um, some wool socks. I've got some really great ones that were made in like Pakistan, um, sent over on Amazon. Um, might not be the we have local ones, of course. Um, so that's vital. You have to have the warm feet on your little kids. Sometimes they have to be asleep before you can do this. And you take your cotton sock pair, put it under cold water, wring them out really good, and put them on your kid's feet with the wool socks over them. If your kid's fevering good, like Charlie did the other night, he went through three pairs in three hours. I redid him. Um, but that was really essentially with the Belladonna all I had to do. And he had the 104 talking all crazy starting stuff. And um, that's when I gave him the Belladonna, in fact. And um, that worked so fast. We didn't, he was able to uh, sit up and throw the cold washcloth at me and say, Mommy, don't ever put that cold washcloth on my head again. He reminded me two nights in a row after that. Um, but. A throat, um, another thing we really need, a lot of us I see, is zinc. Zinc's really reduced. Um, if you have a head cold, if you actually do zinc laundresses, that will help to get to the head stuff a little bit better. So I really like Zand it's elderberry spray with zinc in it. Um, there's laundresses or just the spray. It's easier to grab my kids with sprays around here. I don't know what's going to happen with the laundresses when they're a little. Um, all the stuff you can get through my uh, website too if you need any help through full script on calypsonaturalclinic.com and we try and carry these in the office but that Zan product's been going fast and it is over the counter at um, our favorite health food stores.
we got a couple on Mac. Um, all right. Fever gets scary, you know, up there. 104, 105 is definitely a good, nice fever. People think like 99, 100, 101 are as a fever. No, it's really not a fever until about 103. And now you're cooking. Um, of course, your brain, you want to watch that. So cold washcloths on the forehead and the back of the neck to prevent um, any of the, the blood coming up to the head area getting too warm. Um and you watch a child, of course. They still seem fine. They're talking to you. They're handling it okay. Um, the cool thing with homeopathy is you can bring on the standard care of ibuprofen, Tylenol, and they'll work together for the most part. Maybe even help prevent some of the side effects a little bit. Um, Tylenol, not my favorite these days, showing a lot of wheezing in my pediatric patients after taking. It kicks on some asthma. It seems to be sucking up the glutathione in our child's livers so bad because it's so hard on the liver that then they're having other um, expressions of irritability, uh, increase in breathing or reduced breathing, increased wheezing. Um, and that definitely is a reason I will try and keep Tylenol away, but I brought it on when he had a lot of pain from the ear infection that came on like two days later. Ear infections, right? Never that great. I will usually do a script. It's more for swimmer's ear. Um, for my patients, but I know that medication will get through the tympanic membrane, but it has a little hydro hydrocortisone cream. So that I'll give it to them. Most of my moms don't even need to fill it or they fill it and they keep it in their cupboard in case you're woken up in the middle of the night with a screaming kid. You really don't want to do anything orally. They're not taking anything orally. You can get a couple drops in the ear. That's going to be magic for you. Um, but ear biotic drops that I have in-house of some herbs like Oregon grape root, garlic, calendula, a little bit deeper than just your mullein garlic ear drops. Um, but at least starting with that, kids all the time are having ear infections and moms don't even know it. Um, they're coming in a little bit sick. They think it's something different. I'll look in the ear. <sighs> blowing up. No dairy, no sugar when your kids are sick. And a lot of soups and teas. Definitely a nice way to, again, give us a little, little detox, little GI rest. Sore throats. Um, my colleague, Dr. Pierce, had a great idea of a honey stick. Why are you talking to you? And I have the coolest new thing. Osha Chews from Pharmacopia. This is magic, people. Osha in Oregon is this like kind of hush hush, not known about, amazing powerhouse uh, immune support that China knows all about. We don't use enough. Um, and my friend No McBride of Pharmacopia Herbs put together these ginger candied. No, you squirted all the paint out OSHA and it's really awesome to give to kids at a young age to get their little mouths used to herbs and bitters and I'm starting to give them tinctures and glycerides um, immune glycerate from wise woman awesome it has elderberry it has OSHA in it it tastes fine it's in a glycerin if kids really have a problem with it put in a little bit of smoothie um, a little bit of applesauce, a little bit at the end of a, a really yummy berry tea. You might get something in better well for them. That takes me over to Berry Well, another one of our favorites at the office by Vital Nutrients. Um, again, all of these can be found on the website. Anybody has any questions, I can pound them out for you underneath this as well. Or I'll definitely add them in on my blog. Sign up for my e-newsletter. You'll get a little bit more uh, tips on all of these things or at least bullet point it a little easily since I will jump around or the kids will jump in. Okay, 15 minutes only. So coughing and sneezing will definitely be on my blog. So please love to help you out. Uh, hope this helps you. Share it with your family and friends. Follow us on Insta or Facebook. And we'll be giving you more Naturopathic Health Tips for 2019.
look forward to seeing you more. Take care, guys.